Welcome back, beer tubers. It's been a while since I reviewed a German beer, so I thought I'd review one from one of my favorite German breweries, Einger, and this is their Brauweiss, their authentic Bavarian Hefeweizen. So it's 5.1%, right within style, and uh, you kind of know the drill on these beers. It's going to be nice, spicy, uh, banana-y, potentially wheat ale, and I got it poured out. Kind of tipped the bottle upside down before I poured it out since I can't do the whole bottle in this glass. To get some of that yeast in there, it's a nice hazy, you know, light golden color there, just kind of like a deep straw, bright white head, great carbonation, so looks excellent. Uh, unfortunately, there's there's no dates on these bottles that I found, so I don't know how fresh this is. Hopefully, it's fresh enough. Anyway, I'll be using this bottle for some homebrew. One of my favorites, these 500 milliliters. It's nice to have a proper pint of uh, Hefeweizen. So let's get the aroma. Definitely more uh, spicy, clove forward type of beer. There's some banana underneath, not overly banana-y. Uh, definitely relies more on that clove, like pepper-like spiciness. Uh, maybe just a little hint of bubble gum in the background as well. Some nice like citrusy, wheat, malt, bready malt in there. Like a sweeter bread note. Yeah, it smells great, so let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, very nice. Um, just very on point for the style, really. Good carbonation up front. I would say it's a little less spicy on the nose, or on the flavor than it is on the nose. Definitely getting uh, that nice clove spiciness from the yeast. I'd say it's a little actually more banana forward with an uh, ever slight uh, bubblegum note in there as well. That kind of is all middle of the palate. The beer finishes with that nice bready, slightly citrusy wheat element to it. Nice and dry as it should be. Um, very refreshing. You know, it's got that nice high carbonation level that, you know, is very similar carbonation level to Belgian beer. Makes it just really refreshing. It's still very warm here. So this is, uh, yeah, just a, a great Hefeweizen. Not my favorite. I, I still think I like the Weinstefaner. Uh, a bit more than this, but this is still excellent. Definitely a world-class uh, Hefeweizen. And I don't know how old this bottle is, but the package, packaging they do at Eyinger holds up really well. I mean, I'm not really getting a ton of like oxidation or aging characteristics on the beer. I mean, it tastes fairly fresh. Maybe a little bit of like a slight caramelly oxidation note, but not nothing that's terribly offensive. Uh, ideally, of course, get this in draft in Germany, and because I don't think they distribute kegs over here in the States, but maybe if they do, I'll keep an eye on it. But yeah, I highly recommend Eingers, Brauweiss, uh, you know, up there with the world-class Hefeweizen. So let's gonna wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.